Hello everyone. Right here, I have a 2019 Mini Cooper S Countryman Sports. And today, I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it. Show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. There are welcome lights as you unlock the car. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car and pressing and hold on the lock button, the side mirrors automatically fold in. And upon unlocking, they automatically fold out again. If you press and hold on the unlock button, you are able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously. And to roll all of them back up together, just press and hold on the lock button. All F60 Cooper S Countryman variants in Malaysia come as standard with Mini's Comfort Access Smart Keyless Entry and Start System. So, just have the key fob on yourself. The car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the black button on any of the front door handles. Long press the black button to fold the side mirrors in. And to unlock the car, just press the black button again. A keyless ignition system is standard in the F60 Countryman. So to start it, make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the red toggle switch down here. The F60 Countryman uses a rack and pinion steering system with electric power assistance. The Cooper S Sports gets a JCW leather steering wheel with contrast stitching and perforated leather around the inner rim, JCW branding on the bottom spoke, smooth leather around the outer rim, and thick sport grips at 10 and 2. In Malaysia, an 8-speed Sport Automatic is the only transmission available with the 2019 Cooper S Countryman Sports. This transmission features a Sport Mode and Steptronic manual shifting. The latter can be selected by either the gear lever or the pedal shifters behind the top two steering wheel spokes. A reverse camera with active guidance signs along with front and rear parking sensors are standard for the Cooper S. To laugh of the reverse camera display, Drivers can activate the Park Assist Automatic Parking System, turn on or off the reverse camera, adjust the brightness and the contrast, turn on or off the parking guidance signs and the obstacle markings, and bring up the settings menu. Safety features in the Countryman include 6 arrow bags, interlock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, dynamic stability control, dynamic traction control, dynamic brake lights, electronic differential lock control, a tire pressure monitoring system, and an immobilizer. Isofix child seat anchor points are found on the outer two rear seats. The 2019 Cooper S Sports comes with 19-inch JCW coarse spoke light alloy rims. This Countryman uses 225-45R19 Pirelli Cinturato P Sun run flat tires. Ventilated disc brakes are found in front while the rear gets solid disc brakes. For the suspension, it is made up of McPherson struts in front and a multi-link setup out back. The Countryman name was first used by Mini in the 60s on a four-door estate called the Austin Mini Countryman. In modern times, however, the Countryman is the largest Mini on sale, and the name is used on a five-door crossover SUV. The modern Countryman has been on sale since 2010, with production spanning two generations, the R60 between 2010 and 2017, and the F60 since 2017. In Japan, the Countryman is sold as a crossover. The F60 Countryman debuted at the 2016 Los Angeles Auto Show, 
and it went on sale for the 2017 model year. It is much larger than its predecessor, which translates into better interior space. As before, sitting at the top of the Countryman range is the John Cooper Works variant, but new to the F60 Countryman is the Cooper SE Plug-in Hybrid variant. The F60 Countryman received a facelift in May 2020 for the 2021 model year. The F60 Countryman went on sale in Malaysia in full imported form in April 2017, while local production began a year later in April 2018. The facelifted F60 Countryman is not on sale in Malaysia yet. This Countryman is powered by the B48A20, 2.0-litre, dual overhead cams, 16 valves, turbocharged inline 4 petrol engine. This engine features Valvetronic variable valve lift, double Venos variable valve timing, and high precision direct injection. It produces 189 horsepower at 5000 to 6000 RPM and 280 Nm of torque at 1350 to 4600 RPM. 0 to 100 km per hour takes 7.4 seconds, and the top speed is 224 km per hour. 51 liters is the fuel tank size, and the combined fuel consumption for the Cooper S Countryman Sport Automatic is 6.5 liters per 100 km. Carbon dioxide emissions is 137 grams per kilometer, and the Countryman is a front wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of this Cooper S Countryman Sports include automatic auto leveling LED projector headlights, automatic wipers, LED daytime running lights, LED front fog lights, LED rear lights, LED rear number plate lights, a rear fog light, cornering lights, indicators on the front fenders, a JCW aerodynamic kit, a JCW rear spoiler, silver roof rails and side sills, chrome door handles, and black side mirrors. Speakers right there and right there. Mirror controls, window controls. All of the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions. Window lock, central locking, bottle holder, storage, button to operate the power rear hatch. Interior brightness adjustment. John Cooper Works door sills and the driver's seat in this Cooper S Countryman Sports does get full powered adjustments. All of the controls are located right down there including your 4-way power lumbar support and 2-person memory function. The only manual adjustment for the seat comes in the form of the thigh support adjusted using the lever right here. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how it revs.
dual zone automatic climate control system, fan speed, automatic mode, different modes, driver side temperature, passenger side temperature, front and rear defrost, recirculation, air conditioning and maximum air conditioning. Right down here, parking sensors. This one activates or deactivates the vehicle's automatic stop start feature. If the feature is activated, the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or traffic jam to save that extra bit of petrol that the car uses. This one, if you press it once, activates the dynamic traction control system and if you press and hold on the switch, it deactivates the dynamic stability control system. This one allows you to go between sport, mid and green. Cup holders, storage, cigarette lighter or a power outlet depending on what you use it for, and a USB port. The Cooper S Countryman Sports comes with the Mini Navigation System touchscreen head unit. The system features an 8.8 inch infotainment display, various media connectivity options, and navigation. Sound is channeled through the Harman Kardon Hi-Fi system with shower speakers and 360 watts of power. The Harman Kardon sound system that this countryman uses is actually quite good. Apart from the touch screen function, the 8.8 .8 inch display right above can also be controlled using your set of controls located down the centre console. You have the knob that goes up, down, left, right, scrolls to left, scrolls to right and clicks down for enter. On top of the knob is a touchpad where you can input say letters and numbers into the system. Behind the knob, back and option buttons and ahead of the knob Media, Communications, Map, Navigation and Menu Shortcut Buttons. Right now, let's start with the Media Radio Menu. Right here, we have your Saved Stations, FM, Bluetooth Devices, USB, Sound, Manage Mobile Devices and Personalize the Menu. Under Sound, you have your Bass Treble, Balance Fader, your various volume settings, Reset Back to Default, and your various audio feedback. Since music is playing from a Bluetooth audio device right now, right here you have the current song playing information, artist and album will show up here if available, title, your song list, album art will show up here if present, song duration. To the left you have your search, artists, tracks and shuffle. And if you click the knob to the right, you can bring up your split-screen options and you can select your desired split-screen um, display. Now to go back to the main menu, you can click the knob to the left until you reach the main menu or hit the menu button straight away. Next up, communication, where you can look at your contacts, call lists, dial a number, manage mobile devices, mini assistance, mini messages, memos and all that. Vehicle notifications, Mini Connected with your Mini Assistance, Concierge Services, Mini Messages, and your various apps. My Mini, where you can set your various driver profiles, Mini Country Timer, System Settings, Vehicle Settings, Vehicle Status, Technology in Action, Driving Information and browse through the Onboard Owner's Handbook. Under Technology in Action, you have your Sport Displays, telling you how much power and torque you're using. And lastly, Navigation, where you can input an address, recent destinations, enter new destination, look at the map, and bring up settings. On the map, we have the map right now. You can use the knob to zoom in and out. 
if you push the knob down, you can save the position. And to the left, you have your route guidance, route information, spoken instructions, traffic and additional information. You can change the map views and enter the interactive map. Right here, you can use the touch display. You can use the touchpad on top of the knob or you can use the knob itself. Once you're done, just push the knob down and you can start route guidance to that particular destination, leave interactive map, save position and change the map view. Now once back in the home menu, if you hit the top left button, you can bring up your recently used apps. And if you hit the clock, you can set your date and time. Below the display, different band selection button, different mode selection button, volume and power knob, seek track, and your six customizable buttons. You can program these six buttons to store, say, your favorite navigation address, your favorite contact, your favorite radio station, so on and so forth. Heads up display, central locking, and as shown earlier, this car does have power folding side mirrors. To fold the side mirrors in from the inside, press this button right here. Wiper controls. If you press the button at the end of the wiper stalk, you activate the automatic wipers. Voice control, Bluetooth telephone control, seat track, volume controls, OK. Cruise control and speed limiter controls. Indicator controls. If you locate the button at the end of the indicator stalk, you can go through the multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. Right now, range, average fuel consumption, instant fuel consumption, average speed, digital speedometer, engine temperature, display off, and back to the range. The steering wheel in this car is still the telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. Right here we have the Countryman's electronic parking brake. It is currently engaged. To disengage it, put your foot on the brake and push the lever down. To engage it, simply pull the lever back up. Adjustable front center armrest with storage below. And below the armrest is more storage together with a USB-C port. Auto dimming, rear view mirror. LED reading lights and LED interior light. This one changes the color of the ambient interior light. It also reflects on the colored ring around the infotainment display. SOS emergency button and the sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror and a couple of lights. So I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. Speakers right there and right there. Window control, bottle holder, storage.
and the rear seat bags in this Countryman do fold. They split 40-20-40 when folding. And to fold them down, first make sure the headrests are all the way down. Then, locate the straps down here. This one folds down the right seat. The one right there folds down the middle seat. And the one on that side folds down the left seat. Just pull it. And flip the seat back down. You can use the same strap to adjust the angle of the seat back so it is more upright or more laid back depending on what you prefer. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is quite a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually not too bad back here. The seats are fairly nice and comfortable. On the front seat backs are storage pockets. Rear aircon vents with a couple of USB-C ports below. Rear center armrest with cup holders. And right above, for both sides at the back, are grip handles and hooks. Rear LED reading lights. There are four ways to operate the powered rear hatch in this 2019 Countryman. Boot space in a Countryman is 450 litres with the rear seat backs in place. Fold the rear seat backs down, remove the cargo cover, and the boot space increases to 1390 litres. The left of the boot is a storage net. On both sides of the boot are hooks and LED lights. To the right of the boot is a storage strap and a power outlet. Under the boot floor is more storage and a mini picnic bench cushion.
adjustable headrests front and rear. Speakers, window control, bottle holder, storage, and the front passenger seat in this Countryman does get full power adjustments as well, with the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side, including a 4-way power lumbar support. The only thing that this side misses out on is the memory function. You even do have the manual size support via this lever for the passenger side. Nicely sized glove box, it is illuminated. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror with a couple of lights as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2019 Mini Cooper S Countryman Sports. Thanks for watching and goodbye.